Actor Ed Begley Jr. has more than 300 screen credits to his name. Name a TV show, and he's probably been on it, plus roles in movies like This is Spinal Tap and Best in Show. But he's just as well known for encouraging everyone to take on environmental issues. And with a week to go before Earth Day, that's what brings him here to our studio this morning. We want to welcome you to the show. And I have to let our viewers know that it was 50 years ago on this studio lot that right you near here right near this stage acting. yeah i started here on a show called my three sons i had yeah. one day's work i had a paper out left <laughs> my makeup on after it so i was hoping people would look at me and go is that makeup are you an actor yeah it yeah funny so i mean but the thing is is that while almost everybody knows you from tv and the movies most of us also know you just as well for being so eco-friendly. I mean, you were one of the first really to come out publicly and talk about all that you were doing to save our planet. I'm happy to hear that. I started in 1970 and it was really growing up in smoggy L.A. that led to that. I lived mm -hmm. 20 years at that point, you know, in the 50s and 60s mm -hmm. in L.A. and it really hurt to breathe. And my dad was a conservative that liked to conserve. We turned off the lights and turned off the water and saved string and saved tinfoil. So oh, wow. I was poised and ready in 1970 to do something. And I started taking action mm -hmm. 47 years ago now. Wow. And, and you did have a eco-friendly car. When did I you bought get a Taylor Dunn electric car in 1970. It was $950. It wasn't a bad price for a car, but I quickly surmised, same as it is today, it was cheaper to fuel it. To plug mm -hmm. it in the wall was cheaper. The electricity was cheaper than buying the gasoline. So I still drive an electric car today. I have a Nissan Leaf, and it's solar charged. Mm -hmm. Back then, I didn't have solar panels. Mm -hmm. I lived in an apartment. Mm -hmm. But now, for many years, I've had solar that charges my car. So it's really a clean vehicle in every way. Yeah, although many times you are known to be riding a bike instead. I rode my bike over <laughs> here this morning, and that's my transportation hierarchy. It doesn't have to be a fancy pants electric car. Mm -hmm. Number one is biking. Number two is uh, public transport. Uh, my bike is two. Mm -hmm. Three would be public transportation. Four would be my electric car. A distant fifth would be my wife's Prius if I need to drive up to San Francisco yeah. or something. Okay, and so your home, we understand, is now completely self-sufficient. It's all solar powered? I've got nine kilowatts of solar, but I don't have batteries like I used to. I use the grid as a battery bank, if okay. you will. I spin the meter backwards mm -hmm. during the day and forwards at night, get a bill for the net, which is usually about 20 bucks a month. Wow, that's amazing. And, and you've got smart lighting and shades, too? The best stuff. There's this great system called Lutron, and they have all the dimmers and shade controls, so your shades go up and down different times of the year, and all the lighting is smart lighting. You have different scenarios, different mm -hmm. you know, little lighting schemes that you can press with the press of a button around your smartphone, and you save a lot of energy. They're LED lights to start with. Okay. They're totally dimmable now, and with the Lutron controls, you can save a tremendous amount of energy. Okay, and you're also saving with water heaters. Is that right? Yes, I've got solar hot water for the house. Then I have an A.O. Smith water heater that's like the lonely Maytag repairman. It ne rarely is needed. You know, it comes mm -hmm. on rarely because I got so much from the two big 4 by 10 solar thermal panels. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of solar hot water, but if it's cloudy for a few days, mm -hmm. you still want to take a shower or a bath. So we have the ability to do that from a very efficient water heater. And what about your insulation? Insulation is foam. It's called isonine, mm -hmm. and it really is good. A foam insulation really fills up every gap, every little phone yeah. jack or every little you know, electrical outlet. It gets in there and fills up all the space so you don't have any air going in and out of the building. That's mm -hmm. one of the best things about the home. Mm -hmm. It's got big, thick walls that are 12 inches thick with lots of insulation. So there's seven layers between the inside and the outside, and the heat and cool just doesn't get through. Okay, and we haven't done a lot of this lately because we haven't had much rain, but you actually capture and recycle rainwater. From the solar panel area, which is a big flat roof on top, all that water goes down into a cistern fed by gravity, and it's buried under the backyard. It looks like a big gas station tank. Have you ever seen them lower one of those in? Mm -hmm. They're huge. It looks like a two-man oh. submarine. And that's the little yeah. sump pump there that has the overflow water, and it, it filled up. It can fill up in just two inches of rain. If we have a drought year, which we did fairly recently of five or six inches, it'll fill up three times over. So it's got, because it, it has so much surface area, all mm -hmm. the area drains, everything goes into there. Then I have a gray water system separate from that that'll give me water for the fruit trees and what have you. Wow. So for those that are not doing anything right now um, at their home or their, 
what can what is a simple thing that we might be able to do to really save some energy do the cheap and easy stuff okay. i got a fancy pants home with all mm -hmm. the stuff you don't have to do that if you mm -hmm. have the resources please do mm -hmm. but otherwise do the cheap and easy stuff you can do in an apartment energy saving light bulbs mm -hmm. and leds smart lighting controls like those lutron dimmers mm -hmm. do the uh power strips you know put power strips for all the vampire power uh -huh. that stuff that you're not needing at night or when you leave mm -hmm. the house put that mm -hmm. on those strips turn it off with the flick of one switch and it's all off uh weather stripping around your doors and window bike riding if weather and fitness permit mm -hmm. public transportation if it's available near you all mm -hmm. that stuff is cheap and easy mm -hmm. and so many of us are not doing our part well do your part do mm -hmm. one thing today you don't get a, oh, you don't want to be overwhelmed with the scope of the problems don't be overwhelmed by the scope of the solutions do something mm -hmm. today get a light bulb get a thermostat you know, get a, a dimmer and do those things. And you're going to save money. It all puts money in my pocket. I can live very cheaply now because of all the green choices that mm -hmm. I made. So you have to spend a little at first, but then you, you make it back. Yeah. And, and certainly with things, there's immediate return on things like riding a bike or mm -hmm. taking public transportation. That's cheaper than driving a car day one. Yeah, so many things that we can do. Thank you so much for Thanks joining so us. Much, and Amy. of course, we have a lot of the lists of uh, your website and other information, which is on our website kcal9.com and we want to thank you so much for joining us at thank Baker you, Jr. Amy. So many great tips. Thank you.